Hello. How are, how are you guys doing? I'm doing pretty well. We're gonna be playing uh, some more Valhalla. Tuesday, December 20. Good evening. <clears throat> oh, hello, Joe. In that cage, I um brought my cat. Why? Why, Why would you bring your cat? Your cat? Didn't hear Yasunori Kato was in the bar? Bring me that bastard, I'll give him the fist of justice. I'll make him heat the Kanto earthquake. I'll borrow his cap. <laughs> what the heck? Wait, there are no evil on Myoji here? Boss, what the fuck? <laughs> Didn't you say you brought Kato to the bar? My cat. Cat! Not Kato. Well, that's even better. Hey, Four. Four says meow. So cute. Why did you bring him? I heard some apartments in my building were being raided. I don't have anything suspicious, but you never know. So I'd rather give him, have him here, at least for today. Oh well, I'd say something about health regulations, but we already have a pack of corgis in here. Exactly. You want me to take care of him in my office? Please? Sure, but he's a bit shy, so... Alright, Four, let's go to my office. I think she didn't hear me. Hey, Gil. How do you always come up, come so early? I live close by. Really? Yep. She got me a small apartment nearby. Something about the BTC housing program. Oh yeah, I got mine through that too. Anyways, let's start. Beep 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 beep. Time to make drinks change lives. And I actually have some water here. So I actually have a drink. This counts, right? It counts. If it's in a wine glass, right? <sighs> oh god. Yo, what's up? Oh no. Is this one of the corgis from the past? Um, lady, did you hear me? A dog. Another dog. Hey, I'm not just another dog. I came here as a po- No. Uh, you said- <laughs> You said he was gonna be a hot boy. You lied to me. You straight up lied to me. I was so hyped. I was so hyped. Nah, nah. Mm -mm. I'm, not, I'm not into this, man. No, I'm not into that. So you're the part timer. Yeah. Great. Boss, I'm taking my break. It's too early. Shit. <sighs> part timer's here. Oh, he came early. Why a dog? Why, 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 why? Hey, look at him! He has a Hawaiian shirt and sunglasses! And he's a Shiva, not a Corgi. I don't know what you're complaining about. They all look the same to me. Oh, no, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> Granted, Shivas could be seen in the Japanese corner part of Corgis. They're both funny looking and dogs used to be the royalty. Anyway, starting today, this dog will help around here. My name is... It doesn't matter what your name is! <laughs> oh god. Boss, please don't shout. Sorry. Just call him Red Sh Rad Shiba. Why Rad Shiba? What part of Hawaiian shirt and sunglasses don't you get? He's the raddest thing here. Thanks. <laughs> Anyways, he'll mostly help getting orders, bring clients in, and cleaning up, but, but he ought to know how things work. Cleaning? Now that'd be a change of pace. Well, act like a client and see how you work. Uh, right. What can I get you? I love a grizzly temple. Cool. Are you okay? Yeah, just a couple of post-traumatic flashbacks. Coming right up. The dog wants a gri the grizzly temple. I think only one person has ordered that before. That Shiba do be rad. I don't know. As a non-dog person, I, I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't get it. I kind of get it, but am I enjoying it? I don't know. Maybe he was a cat instead. <laughs> my precious four. If only he were my partner. Um, all blended. So double shakes. There we go. Here. Wow, this is awful. People actually pay for this shit. <laughs> Hard to believe I know. 
So, what brings a doc like you to taking a part-time job here? I'm here to help left fund me in my organization. Are you with the Safer Toy Company? What? No! Don't let me in with those hurting supermantics. Supermatic? Massets. Super. Sprim. Yeah. I have a more noble and benign organization. I belong to Sira. Bro, did I did I butcher it that bad? Did I? <laughs> Sira. Oh no. <laughs> K9 Independent Rescue Association. We give a place where dogs can be dogs and save them from themselves. Zero is what I love, but damn is it expensive sometimes. I decided to take part-time jobs to help fund anything it needs. We want to help Sierra be the best it can be. What do you do at Sierra? Pay treatment for hurt dogs, give food to hungry ones, and play with the bored ones. We're there for everyone. Ah, uh, that actually sounds nice. Say, hey, you have a menu? Something like that, yeah. Here. Now, let's see. Any recommendations? Avoid the part with promo drinks. Oh, that Grizzly Temple is one of those. Fluffy Dream? I like the sound of this one. Coming right up. Fluffy Dream, huh? You know, all the other customers so far hasn't even needed the menu. Can Dog get drunk? Can... Can dog get drunk? I only give him a little. I, I won't overload. I only, I only give a little. All aged. <coughs> there we go. Fluffy dream. Well, this one's nice. So, why'd you pick a bar? It seemed fun. I didn't need that many weird skills to be part of this. So it was my best bet. Besides, it's close to home, so I can get here by walking. And I do love me some walks. I can walk all day. <laughs> the dog can have a little alcohol as a treat. Only a little. Only a little. Hello! VTuber Shadow Fox. How are you doing, bro? How are you doing? Weird skills? Yeah, stuff like food and or certificate, previous work experience, or thumbs. Yeah, that would be a struggle. Why'd you pick a bar? Oh! Thank you for the follow, bro! Oh my god! Thank you, thank you! I'm doing alright. Still a bit recovering, but <laughs> I, I'm trying my best. Got me a like, freaking giant jug of water here, so I'm going to be intermediately drinking along with our cast. <laughs> uh, on a win too, I guess. I wanted a place where I could see people come and go all the time. And bartending sounded a bit more glamorous than just being a store clerk. Oh yeah, about that way you mix stuff. Yeah? Is it? Hey. It's a cat! A cat! You stay away from my cat! Oh my god. Hey, Forer, weren't you in boss's office? Hello, cat, wanna play? Let's play! Get away from my cat right now, sir. You're not playing with her. Him? Them. <laughs> no, no, no. Didn't dogs hate cats or something? No, dogs love cats. Cats hate dogs. No force, right? Yeah, that's sad. Thank you, Shadow Fox, though. I appreciate it. I believe in myself. We don't hate them, unless they're intruders. Huh. You said his name was Four? Hello, Four. Let's play. Is this a part of your job? I don't think so. Yeah, no playing allowed. You'll make a mess. Four, go back to the boss office. Meow. <laughs> that's one obedient cat. My pride, my joy, my life. Want something else? Yeah, but I'll talk with John Face here for a bit. Eh. Alright. Oh, I shouldn't get riled up easily by dogs, but I'm just tired, I guess. Hello, Jill. Is that... <gasps> that, that, that voice? I know who that is. I know who that is. Simi! Hey, you alright? You look very muscular today. <laughs> what happened to you? Nice seeing you too. Well, I fell from a really tall place into a really tough, rough spot. Are you okay? Do you need an ambulance or something? I just got out of one, don't worry. How did you manage to slip by the mob's lynching white lights? Literally. It was a bit rough. Luckily, these bandages helped me conceal my identity. <laughs> Why come straight here? I... ambulance where I got treatment couldn't stray too far from the hospital. 
They're nice people. I've talked to them a lot while on rescue duties. I was nearby and yours was the closest friendly face I could find. I needed to regain my composure before doing anything else, so here I am. Um, if you're scared because they might come for me, I can leave, you know? Security systems of the bar, top notch. So my boss is also the ba bouncer of sorts here. Yo, what up, Spook Pickles? I'd say you're actually safer here, so I'm not worried about me. Said I'm worried about you. Yeah, come on, say. First I hear at the bank, and then I found out you disappeared. And now you show up with all these bandages. Are you fine? What happened at the bank exactly? Did you talk with Stella? Was she wor She was worried sick about you. Slow, slow down a bit. The medications make me feel everything more intensely, almost like a hangover. So sorry. It's nice to know someone like a bartender was worried about me though. Thanks. Everyone I know has been ignoring me, so I was feeling lonely. Why would they ignore you? Why? Yeah, wh why? Well, you see the lunches they give to any white knights they find. By ignoring me, they're actually saving me from getting kicked to death. Oh. Okay. My good deeds finally paid off, I guess. <laughs> Can I get you anything? Um, something sweet without alcohol. Thank God these pants still have my wallet, wallet in them. Oh no, I couldn't take your money right now. It's on the... Jill, please. I want to pay for the drinks. I take it I won't be able to change your mind. No, nope. I mean, yes. I mean, I won't be able to change... You won't be able to change my mind. Sweet no alcohol, right? Coming right up. Today seems to be in a pit of a pain. Let me sure I don't... I give her something sweet that doesn't have alcohol in it. Will do, will do. Sugar rush, exactly. Sweet, no alcohol. Very easy. Careful. Yay, this will help me calm down a bit. So, what happened to you? Uh, where'd you fall from? I was escaping the place near the end of the whole thing, and I had to make a leap of faith. Oh no, you were doing parkour, parkour. I, I jumped from higher places, but I barely landed. I landed badly here. Most of my injuries are actually from some debris that fell on me. Oh, but my broken arm is actually from the fall. Ow. I rolled to mitigate the fall, but I made a bad move and broke it. Oh. Good thing I drank lots of milk. <laughs> Can't get a hangover if you never stop drinking. I mean, you might be right. I don't, I don't know much how alcohol works. Is that how it works? If you just constantly drink, the hangover will never come. <laughs> Oh my god. Or, no, I actually know that hangover is caused by... Wait, is it... Is it, is it... is it saying it's Overwatch right now? I swear to god. Oh my god. Holy heck. Is it saying it's Overwatch? No, no, no! This is no. totally Overwatch, BTW. No, it does not say it's Overwatch! Oh my god. It says it's Overwatch! Holy shit. Why? Oh my god. I think I fixed it now. Oh my god. Thank you for the resub, Dirk, though. Oh my god. I can't believe it's been freaking five months already. Can you? God. I guess Say is my favorite Overwatch hero. Yeah, dude. Say could be an Overwatch. Alright. I can't believe I was on the wrong game this whole time. <laughs> All the technical difficulties we've been having this whole time. <laughs> oh god. I was under rubble for quite a bit, but luckily someone found me. Someone? I woke up in the hospital and they told me some guy brought me there. I don't know who he was, but I owe him my life. Hmm. Detective? What? <clears throat> Nothing. You just sound, um, cheerful. I'm alive. Why wouldn't I be? After all that happened at the bank, here I am, talking to you, being able to talk at all. <laughs> if Say was in Overwatch, I'd play that game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Don't think too much about it. I'm fine. I'm totally fine. <sighs> oh, Say, don't push yourself, alright? Uh, um... How are things around here? I heard there was a huge commotion between the whole thing that happened. I had to sleep in the here in the bar on Saturday, but I guess it could have been worse. 
Oh, oh, Nia, Naya, Nia. Hello, <laughs> how are you? Glad to know that. Did you contact Stella? She was on the verge of despair yesterday. Um, hey, Jill. Um, I want another drink. Um, a bleeding Jane. Oh no, are you having late relationship issues? Oh, say. <laughs> she asked for a bleeding Jane. But is it the really the best idea to give her one? Uh, does it have alcohol in it? It doesn't have alcohol in it. He's fine. Right? He's fine. But, yeah, she's very much dodging this question. Uh, blended. Double shake, double shake. Oh, there we go. Here. To cheers. <laughs> Don't force yourself, say. Oh my god. So, how are things inside the bank? <laughs> Come again? <laughs> what happened inside the bank? What happened inside the bank? How did you manage to get through it? Um, I was this nice with this nice bunch of people. Well, they were actually nice at the very least. We tried our best to find a way out of the whole thing, cracking through the security, finding safe spots. But then, um... What happened? Sorry for asking all that, it was obviously over the line. No, don't worry about it. It's just that the an 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 analogous is still numbing me. Oh, okay. I'll take my leave now. Thank you for everything, Jill. Are you alright? I'm fine, I'm fine. That is the most unconvincing I'm fine. The Game Awards? The official Game Awards? I don't know. Who's hosting the Game Awards? Is it like Twitch? Or like MTV? <laughs> the girl says some awful things inside that bank. Side of desperate people stuck in one building is enough scars to anyone. Maybe I shouldn't have said all that. I mean, it's true that she just woke up and ended up here. I don't know, I feel like I'm just being too pushy. That's not something I can measure. You were just worried, but she's still just she's just still in shock. Yeah. Um, yeah? Want me to make sure she's fine on her way? Please. Alright. I'll go and take my break now. And that means water. Ah. Is the last of us two winning again? <laughs> You think it would? I don't know much about The Last of Us 2, but I just know people either loved it or hated it. <laughs> uh, and home, right? Home. It is now safe to keep playing once again. Poor water. Oh, I'm gonna down my whole drug. Jug. Drug? Drug jug. Too much heavy stuff lately. Yeah, too much heavy stuff lately, huh? Too, emo too many emotions, huh? I get it, I get it. Too bad uh, we're just gonna be listening to the same music for all of eternity. Because I'm too lazy to change it. Good in you. Good in you. Hope everything goes alright. Uh, hey, Jamie. Ah, oh, what's up? See, it's been a while. Um, Jamie? Uh, Jill. Gillian isn't here. Gillian isn't here, I see. You alright? You look distracted. I'm fine, no worry. If you say so. Jill! Where do I take four if he needs to use the bathroom? This cage, this cage has a small litter box included. Oh, that's convenient. <laughs> four? Where's my cat? Some apartments in my building are being inspected today. So I brought him to work in case they enter my place while I'm gone. Uh, I see. What can I get you? The usual gut punch. Coming right up. Right, you guys said to remember what their uh, signature drinks are. But I'm playing this too sparsely. <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> you know, if I feel sick, everyone's going to feel sick. <laughs> Revenge. Uh, finally, I'm doing what the people want. This is what you want, right? This is what you want? I'm gonna do it. 
finally, I'm gonna do it. Can't you write it down? <laughs> I could, but am I going to? Probably not. It's fine. It's fine. It's it's only it is only video game. It is only video game. Here. I thought when someone ordered a gut punch, you had to make a joke about giving the client a punch to the stomach or something. Oh, that. In theory, yeah. Gil's the only one who pays attention to that, though. Really? He didn't receive proper training. He read an old manual my boss had. There was some sort of stipulation mentioning that he didn't need to say puns. It seems like it was some sort of anti-counterfeit measure. I mean, they copied such a silly stipulation, they'd be caught in the act. Like when the dick dictionaries added fake words to spot if someone else had just copied all of it. Yep. Oh. Why not tell him that? It's too amusing, to be honest. <laughs> Wow, straight up. Playing him. So, what's in your mind that's distracting you so much? Nothing you should think about too much. It's like those times you just feel uneasy for no good reason. You might have actual reasons to feel that way, though. Come to think of it, mercenary is quite the uncommon occupation, wouldn't you say? I like to see what I do as bounty hunting, actually. How so? The only jobs I don't take are those where I have to deal with people who just happen to be in the wrong place. Oh, okay. We do a little trolling. I know, Jill does the maximum amount of trolling at all times. <laughs> there are people willing to pay you off someone that done no wrong. Things like killing someone that owns a house in the way of some building or a nosy reporter. I'm not better for turning a blind eye to such requests, but I'm not going to be the one dealing with those. Running Hunter Park comes where? I'm just to kill someone that has done something like stealing or killing and I get paid for it. You can see it as bounty hunting. Yeah, I guess. Just cheap justification for killing people though. In the end, they're cheap. However, I won't be the one to kill for petty reasons like those. Let's change the subject here. I'll have something bitter, if you don't mind. Huh? Sure. Something bitter. That's a tad too broad of a category though. Maybe something manly would be better? No, he said bitter. I'm going to go for bitter. Maybe bitter and manly. Huh? Which would be... Yeah! <laughs> I know. I know how drinks work. Oh, man. One, two, three, four. And mix. Easy. How's this, huh? Oh, uh, yes. Just reminded me of my grandpa. <laughs> He used to eat Bronson roots every afternoon. They said to make him stronger. Bronson roots have more nutrients per gram than most vitamin supplements. Your grandpa knew what he was doing. <laughs> it seems I always managed to make you uncomfortable, Jill. Sorry. Ah, uh, no, don't worry. Although I guess it's mostly because I can't wrap my mind around the whole taking a human life thing. Maybe if you just killed people and not taking talking to me here, it's weird. Yeah, I'd think so too. It reminds me of when I first took sex ed class. <laughs> how do you... How do you make that connection? I can't wrap my mind around people doing that stuff and living normally. Oh. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if sex is on the same level as, you know, like, killing someone. <laughs> In terms of odd things to do. Sex is the opposite of murder. Sex is reverse murder. <laughs> Unlike with sex ed, it's better that you stay that way, mind you. Making lives is not something you should get used to. Oh yes, I know good would change the subject a bit. Would you like to hear about the most dangerous bounty hunter in the city? He said it was like offering a tail to a bored kid, but... Yeah, I'd like to hear that one. You see, there was actually a bounty hunter organization in the city not too long ago. Law enforcement would put a price on a dangerous person's head and pay for the proof of that person's death. There was a guy everyone called Jet Black James. He got the nickname because he always wore black clothes. Jamie? James. Sus, but okay. The interesting thing was that the black clothes were there to hide blood stains he got from his contracts. His tracking skills were top notch, his information network was the best. Some even joked he would finish the bounty within half an hour, or he wouldn't take the word. He was too good, in fact. At one point, he took all the bounties and didn't take a single reward. He was just that crazy back then. <laughs> God. The last bounty that the organization ever posted was on James' head. Police had him cornered. His last words were, send it all to my account. 
before shooting himself. Wow, that's a metal. That's super metal. Damn. It hasn't hat been made into a movie. I know, right? So, there are no more brownies after that? The registered bounty hunter was charged with many counts of manslaughter using his old targets as proof. So if anyone else tried to recreate the organization, the seed of doubt would grow in little to no time. What guarantee is there that such an organization wouldn't actually be a trap? They could use the registered bounty hunters to take care of the most bothersome criminals, and then dispose of the bounty hunters by possess pressing charges using their targets as evidence. Ah, oh, now that's just messed up. So, no. Deadblock James made sure that no law enforcement organization is able to set up bounty hunting of any kind. Ever since then, anyone crazy enough to be a bounty hunter, hunter works independently. Were you a part of that organization? I've actually had those suspicions I'm telling you about since the day I heard such a thing exist. Glad to know I wasn't just paranoid. I don't know how well you changed the subject, but that was certainly an, one interesting story. <laughs> I don't know if he changed the subject or shifted the narrative. <clears throat> Just to make sure, you're not a rebuilt Jet Black Lane, Jet Black James, Jet Black James, or something, right? The name James is pretty common, Jill. Besides, if I remember correctly, his real name was actually Theodore. Oh, <laughs> yeah, oh. The story left my throat a bit dry. Give me a beer, please. Sure. One beer coming right up. Jamming, jamming, jamming. Four. Four for four. Unmixed. Here. One of mankind's oldest friends. Cheers. One obvious thing I see is that you don't take the use of the word kill in your stride the way G G Gillian does. I'm not good with violence. That's good. It's interesting though. When I compare you two, it's obvious that Gillian has some quite a share of traumatic stuff. That guy's a handful because of that sometimes. Still, he's one of the most reliable people I've ever met. Where is he, by the way? I asked him to keep an eye on a girl that came after here. Came here earlier. Still, that something happened, he resolved the situation. No one's supposed to be itching after we talk so much about him. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Well, I've got to go. Then my regards to your boss and Gillian. Will do. Man, say so he's been quite heavy. Everyone. Wait. If I say it out loud, I feel like I'll just tempt fate. What? What are you gonna say? Well, let's try it anyways. Everyone has just been gloomy face after gloomy face. And that dog. I sure hope the next client changes that. <laughs> oh god. Uh, place your bets. Do you still work here? <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. I knew it! Uh, I mean. Quite a surprise to see you here again, Mr. Ingram. Got out of my job, needed a drink badly. I remember this crack house nearby. What can I get you then? I'll have a bleeding Jane. On it. Ingram wants a bleeding Jane, huh? That's non alcoholic. You're not fixing to have a good time? What's the problem, bro? And blended. Ingram, more like Outgrim. Ha 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 ha. That's great. <laughs> Here. Tastes just like the pasta sauce my mom used to make. Watered down, artificial, and nasty. So, where do you work, Mr. Ingram? <laughs> just change the subject. I don't have a specific job, but there's this, well, network of engineers I need in need of assistance. No idea what they do there, but I can follow instructions, and that's all they need. Recently, I've been working with a Celia. Celia? Silo. Yeah. We've been working on some in extra experimental power suits. My only duty is to give them maintenance once a day. What's that about a network? All those nerds know each other and they recommend me. I don't ask questions and quickly learn to do whatever they need. Huh, sounds nice. Pretty monotonous at times, though. Why are you giving me that look? You're just more cheerful than the last time you came. We all have good days and bad days. Today just happens to be a not bad day. Besides, with everyone scared shitless in their houses, the streets are clear with no traffic jams. Well, you seem a little bit happy. Is, uh, that's always a plus. I guess. It almost became a bad day, though, thanks to some teens on the way here. What did they do? It's not what they did, it's what they said. 
They're talking about how they should just go to Zaibatsu Core HQ and blow- Oh my god! No, that's bad. That's real bad. See one too many kids throwing around that let's kill the king attitude when it comes to Zaibatsu Core. Zaibatsu crime. <laughs> Even if Zaibatsu Core is building something went down, the ones behind it would still be alive. Killing the head on show just means his or her duties go down to the next rim job or on the totem. Oh, I bet they're plotting to kill each other anyways. <laughs> I mean, you're probably not, you're probably right. Kids these, these, these days say, see way too many action films and the rebels save the day by killing the evil corporation. Don't let it get to you. I don't, I just hate teenagers. <laughs> don't we all? <laughs> I swear the caption for the Game Awards is someone trying to type along. Well, that's usually how it is, isn't it? If it's live? Uh, I think, but I don't know, actually. I don't know. I, I just assumed that it's always somebody trying to type as fast as they can. <laughs> Though that's probably not what it is. Like, imagine they get a hand cramp and they just start spasming on the keyboard. Like, that wouldn't be good. I thought it was just some spe speech to text, bro. Yeah, I have no clue. I, I don't know. No clue. It's interesting, though. The corporation in control is somehow more dangerous than the regular government. Oh, well, no. I'm not a political person. No shit. Alright, give me a Zen Star. Try not to mess it up. Coming right up. How can I mess up a Zen Star? What the heck? One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Easy. Easy, easy. Uh, on the rocks. And mixed. Nice. Here. Glitch City and Cat Paradise. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, this is just as nasty as I've heard. <laughs> Why order it then? Not your problem. Great. So, where's the red comet? My boss? She... Still! Four's headed your way! Let's play, Four! Let's play! Oh, God. Oh, customer! Sorry for the intrusion. You have a dog here, and a cat. The cat's mine. His name's Four. The dog just hangs around here. He looks well groomed. His fur looks healthy. You can take good care of him. You know a lot about cats. No, it's just common sense. <laughs> do you like cats, Mr. Ingram? I don't dislike them. But I do dislike having animals near me when I'm eating or drinking. So, I'll take my leave. Please come again. Don't count on it. <laughs> you said that last time. Congratulations, you scared a client off. Four of those guilty as me? Yeah, but I like four. He's my baby. <laughs> You, on the other hand. Now go, play or something. Right. Ah, you're back. What happened to Say? Yeah, Boomer Girl picked her up. Oh, really? Couldn't see anything, but I guess she was happy. Glad to hear that. Did I miss something? Only Jamie and some other guy came. I see. You look exhausted. This room was filled with people carrying heavy emotional baggage. I don't mind it, but dealing with them tried, tired me out a little bit. I actually found myself wanting Dorothy to burst out of that door at any moment. Do so you miss Dorothy? Kinda. <laughs> oh, very much. But anyway, nothing good night, uh, good night of sleep can't fix. Let's just wrap things up around here and call it a day. That was a really short day. Compared to the other ones. Joe's beer staff is running out. Buy some to prevent, 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 prevent her getting distracted. What happens if she gets distracted? I don't even know. Here on discount. Ooh, that's a lot though. We almost have enough for the, uh, what's it called? The 24th. Uh, what happens if she gets distracted? Games for Impact Award, Life is Strange, Two Colors. Are you serious? <laughs> Not, not to say it was a bad game. Uh, just, just to say that I've never even heard of it. <laughs> I think the text on the drink menu tells you what they drink they want gets replaced. Oh, right. That's what it is. Okay, okay. I think we'll be fine without the beer. We'll be fine. The beer's a little expensive. 
and uh, you know, we get uh, rent in a couple days, or electricity, or whatever. Uh, let's go look at the fortune. Let's see what's going on here. Ooh! And Township 64. Oh! Hype! Literally no games! Is anyone tired of this monster girl meme? No, no, no. I'm going to marry a monster girl. So I want actual gameplay next time. Why would you want gameplay in a Sukuban game? <laughs> wow. They're straight up like owning themselves with that. Wow. I don't know. All I see is pretty girls, nothing to back it up. Any info on the hardware? It's probably going to be another underpowered piece of shit. It's not like the competition is any better. Eh, I think I'll just quit gaming. Nothing but trash as of late. You don't just quit gaming because no good games are coming out. There are so many good games in the past. The past of gaming. In the future of gaming, you know? One sucks, just go to the other one. <laughs> yeah, I remember when games were actually good and devs made them with love and care. Remember? Me neither. Wow. Savage. Useless, but savage. And make sure to save. There we go. And then going to work. Beer's more important than rent. Uh, false. Gaming. Ah, Jill. Good timing. Is it? You always do make me feel like I'm late. If it helps, that dog isn't coming until late, some later. Sometime later. Anyway, do you have any s something planned for Sunday? Watch silly mega Christmas specials with a hundred- a thousand grams of black fur on my lap? <laughs> Why? I was thinking about holding up a small mega Christmas party here this Sunday. You in? Sure. Why not? <laughs> oh, and the inside, Jill's probably screaming with joy. You know? <laughs> Alright. Find any client you're acquainted with. The more the merrier. You didn't bring your cat today? The raid stopped. They found whatever or whoever they were looking for. Huh? Anyway, we better start working. Yeah, you better. Yeah, yeah, I better, huh? Mm, maybe we should switch it around a little bit. Dawn approaches. No, I like my playlist too much already. Ah. Fine. We'll... We'll, uh... We'll switch some up. We'll switch some up. How do I... Right. There. I switched some up, meaning replace one song. <laughs> it's fine, everything's fine. Just shuffle the jukebox. There we go. Time to mix drinks and change lives. How can I... Oh my god! Cute! Oh my god. Oh my god. Um, um, I want, um, a fluffy dream. Uh, may I see your ID, please? <laughs> yeah, Carter. Carter. I don't have an ID because, um, I'm the ghost of Mega Christmas Past. I'll haunt you constantly unless you give me a fluffy dream. You still have money to pay for drinks? Well, I... Do you? Yes, I I have money. Texas Chainsaw Massacre multiplayer game. <laughs> God. Whoa. Well, Dead by Daylight always needs competitors. Huh? Can't be the only game on the market like that. Fluffy Dream. Oh, shoot, I dozed off. Fluffy Dream, I know what it is. Fluffy, Fluffy, Fluffy! Since you might be a minor, no alcohols for you. No alcohols for you. Hey Seth, what's going on, bro? How are you today or tonight? No alcohol, Uber. None. None. Here you go. Wow, I actually got a drink. Yeah, there's no alcohol in it. <laughs> We're here to stalk Miss Ghost of Mega Christmas Past. Stalk? Oh, right. I'm a ghost. Uh, that guy. Yeah. Which employee did you leave without a Mega Christmas, Gil? <laughs> Jill, please. 
It would be funny if he reacted to that. Sorry, kid, I'm not in the mood to humor you today unless you have some sort of ID. Here. Well, in a year or so, I'll gladly, gladly serve you a drink. <laughs> wow. Until then, it's no place for you. But I already got a drink. A non-alcoholic one. You didn't expect me to really give you a drink, right? Uh... So, if you would please leave. Can't you just go to a bar and get, like, water, and that's it? Are you required to get something alcoholic? You know? Well, you can't be served at all if you're underage, right? So, like, even if you go up to a bar and be like, hey, can I, can I get some goose? They can, uh, deny you, right? I can't leave, not after trying so hard to get here. What? <sighs> Alright, let's start from the beginning, Miss Norma. How'd you know my name? I saw your ID. <laughs> they can serve you anything that isn't alcoholic. Ah, oh, okay. Could have been a fake ID. I don't think you're stupid enough to make a fake ID that doesn't put you at least 18 at the very least. <sighs> you're very sharp, Miss Bartender. Look like a nice girl, Norma. Why'd you come to a bar like this? Uh, um, you seem like you're in a bad mood, Miss Bartender. Nah, she's just like that all the time. <laughs> wow. Shut up. Uh, sorry if I've been harsh. These last couple of days have been heavy. Having someone underage here reminds me of a certain incident from last week. Incident? Well, don't change the subject, young lady. Why'd you come here? What do you care? I can do whatever I want. Unless it's illegal, in which case anyone can, and should, and probably will stop you. <laughs> I just... I just wanted to be a little more wild, you know? Wild? My mom puts way too many expectations on my shoulders. I've always been out to make sure I don't disappoint her. But it's never enough. It's not good enough to have good grades. She always wants me to go out and take a college preparation course. But I'm tired. I don't want to do things for her anymore. You came to a bar. <laughs> oh my god. Maybe if I came back home smelling like alcohol, she'd leave me alone. If I'm not good enough for her, I might as well kill any hope she has in me. No. Nah, that is a super negative way to look at it. <laughs> oh. Reminded me of this client I had a while ago. She, um, passed out in the street. My boss brought her here. Gratitude reminds me of how she once got, got, got once drunk. Yeah, bitter about the pressure exerted on her. Hers was workplace pressure, but you still reminded me a lot of her. So what of it? So before you think of anything else, calm down. I don't want you to go through with what she went through. Uh, I'm calm. Let me get this straight. You came here to make your mother disappointed. <laughs> yes. Do you like alcohol? Actually, I think it's nasty. Then you're doing things wrong. What? If you're gonna disappoint your mom, at least do it with something you like. Like, become a belly dancer because you want to be a belly dancer. Or, you know, become a drug salesman because you really enjoy making money. You know, people do it for all different reasons. Wait. Spook Pickles, you're freaking pulling my leg. Telltale's not in business, are they? Or did they come back <coughs> to make more bad decisions? <laughs> what the heck? Otherwise, you're trying to hurt her for the sake of hurting her. Start with something. What do you like doing? I... don't know. I've been so focused on trying to be good enough that I haven't been able to think about what I want to do. Don't you think you should start there? Huh? What good is doing something just for the sake of hurting someone? She gets disappointed in you over something like what you're doing. You have the right to protest. But if you're hurting her by hurting yourself over something you don't enjoy... Sounds silly, huh? Barry. Go home. Do some self-discovery before hurting your mom, would you? Or at the very least, humor her until you're old enough to move out. Yeah, you're right. Thanks, Miss Bartender. Call me Jill. Jill? Alright. Careful out there. That was so wholesome. <laughs> In the end, you did humor her for a bit. Shut up. Oh, a doggy! Hello, little girl! <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> 
DJ, how are you doing? You're late. Miss me, Jay? Don't call me Jay. You too early. <laughs> ah, good to see you here. Boss, will be any good around here? I'm right here. I know. <laughs> of course, I spent a lot of time training him. What do you, why do you think he didn't show up last week? Cause how the hell would I know you'd bring a part-timer dog? Here, let me show you. Sit. Sir, yes, sir. Roll. Sir, yes, sir. Paw. Sir, yes, sir. Training. Of course. Only shouting sir, yes, sir, and not doing anything else, though. Never said I did a perfect job. Hmm? Is that a motorcycle? Oh, shit. Hey, not in my office. In the end, he's just a dog, I guess. Ooh, new character? Yes? Bathroom. Oh, sorry, it's only for clients. Bruh. Oh, um, promise me you'll buy something afterwards. That door over there. <laughs> Who the hell are you? The other one! <laughs> oh my god. Sheesh. Said get out of my desk! For the world's ending. It was just a motorcycle. There are four riders then. Those are horsemen, and it's already dissolved. <laughs> Thanks. So much. Don't mention it. You need to buy something now, right? Oh no, you don't have to. Sorry if it looks like I meant to inconvenience you. No, I'll order, so I'll order something. I need to rest anyways. What can I get you? Uh, piano woman would be nice. Sorry, I didn't hear you. Um, I'll have a Mars Blast. Uh, I see what's going on here. Uh, sure. Alright, the order was a, a rabbit. <laughs> the order was a rabbit, shut up. <laughs> oh my god. Should I just give a piano woman because that's what he asked for in the beginning? I understood that reference. Dude, so did I. You're not alone there. I'm giving what he originally wanted. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, one, two, three. You say what your heart desires. You want a piano woman? You get a piano woman. Alright? Alright. Um... Aged and mixed. It's a promo drink, so I don't even know if it'll be that good. But... <laughs> Alright. And... There we go. Here. You look happy. Shut up. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I got you, bro. I got you. Is that motorcycle out there yours, mister? Call me Mario. And yes, it's mine. Sorry for the noise. Oh, don't worry. It's not like you stay outside too long or anything. So, what do you work as, Mario? I live to paint the roads black with my wheels, leaving a trail of my engine sounds wherever I go. <laughs> I'm a rebel. Fuck the red lights, fuck the speed limits, fuck the helmet laws. The roads are mine and mine only. I am... Guys, I'm going outside with the dog. We'll advertise the bar. Hello, doggy. <laughs> Hello, shady guy. Just shady. I'll be back before long. Don't worry. All right. Careful. Who is she? Oh, she's my boss. She was cute. <laughs> uh, not that you're not cute, and it's not like I'm into girls either. Wait, what? You're gay? Or... There's some LGBT business going on here, I feel like. Not like there's anything wrong with that, I just... So, where do you work, Mario? I just told you, I'm a rebel. I... Rebels can't maintain those bikes for too long. What's your day job? I'm a delivery boy. That's really appropriate, I guess. What do you deliver? I'm from a courier company, so it's kind of m like mail, I guess. I'm always around the city and I know it's like the palm of my hand. Sure, I might not remember every building, but I remember every intersection and every street. That's nice. Still can't take detours without feeling totally lost. Try riding yourself, guiding yourself with the help of landmarks. Around here, the saber stations, antennas, a good reference. Boy, I sure love the movie Akira. Dude, that's exactly what I was thinking of too. <laughs> the jacket. <laughs> Especially. Uh, I mean, what do I care? Fix that yourself, b -b bitch 
you want anything else, Mario? I guess take a moon blast would be nice. Moon blast? Ah, ah, a good punch! I know what you want. <laughs> the strap of my bra is itching. An itch it, bro. Moon blast. I got you. Uh, one and one and two. Rocks. And blended. Double mix. There we go. Here. <laughs> this is good. The moon blast. <laughs> I. No, never mind. Same Mario. Why do you try so hard to keep that tough guy image? It isn't working. <laughs> you think it would be working? Maybe when you arrived and had to go to the bathroom, but after that you just looked cute. Cute. So why do it? Bikers are supposed to be scary, right? Rebels that cause trouble and ride free from society's tides. If we applied that brand of logic here, I should be the one wearing a third of my clothes and lighting drinks on fire. <laughs> I guess. You can do whatever you want, dress however you want. It's just that you look like you're trying so hard. Like you don't really enjoy that. It's not a lie. He says he can't dress as a biker and still be a nice kid. Yeah, but other bikers. Sounds like something someone in high school would say. Ugh. <laughs> it's just advice. Don't take it too personally. No, you're right. I don't have to be that way. Unless you want to. I ain't stopping you there. Yeah, but I don't. It's tiring. It doesn't feel good. If you want, you can try to stay quiet. You were pretty intimidating when you did that. I see. Did you have another drink, or did you have too many already? Well, I can handle another one. Give me a fringe weaver. Sure. I'm a bartender at a tender bar. <laughs> what the heck is wrong with her? Oh my god. One, one, two, three, four, four, six, seven, eight, nine. That's ten, that's not nine. Give me a second. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. Yeah. Age mixed. What happens when no beer? <laughs> Here. Yep, that's the one. Thanks. Hey, that guy over there. Gil? What's up with him? Are you dating him? No. Is he seeing anyone? <laughs> yeah, that's alright, bud. Not as far as I know. You think he... He... No, never mind. I said nothing. Dude. I don't know, actually. But you could try. You could try anyway. Might as well. Thank you for everything. Please come again. Ah, Gil. Your heartbreaking fuckboy. <laughs> eh, what? Nothing. I'll be taking my break now, Gil. Okay, be careful. Be careful? What am I gonna do during break? Huh? <laughs> try freaking taking a nap and then never wake up. Nah, that's freaking way too dark for a joke. What the heck? Don't break something. What are you talking about? Don't get your head stuck anywhere. You shouldn't. Whoa. My avatar just descended into the abyss when I was drinking water. <laughs> Best audio design award for is our high horizon five. I guess I haven't been too much into mainstream gaming lately, so I don't know what deserve it. Don't break something on your break. Ah, I gotcha, I gotcha. <clears throat> it is now safe to keep playing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I said the same word twice. Comedy. Shut up. <laughs> No, no, it, it makes sense because you're using them in two different uh, forms. One means something and then the other one means something else. Billy didn't smell like poo today. That's a new one. What the heck does that mean? Are you good, Jill? Holy heck. Shuffle! Shuffle! For as a team, we really stuck Mike up that car's tailpipe. <laughs> I return to the void because of hydration. You guys ever just get so hydrated, you just go into the void. 
you just become one with the darkness, you know? All right, back to business. Back. Any luck? I managed to give out some flyers, but most people were distracted by the dog. I had to tell them to go to the Radshiva bar to get their attention. Oh. Anyway, I'm back to my office. You stay here. Fine. The door opens, and the, and the crowd goes wild when they see ah, a dog. What's up, little girl? What are you doing in a bar? Uh, honey, um, some help here. Hey, dog, I heard some cats in the alley. Really? I'll check them out. <laughs> oh my god. Wow, you really are bad with dogs, huh? Can I make it too obvious? Why, though? I don't know. <clears throat> oh, hey, John. Hey. I think it's because I just got the trade at random. When AIs are created, they're given fears or things completely at random. Wow. I just happen to get stuck with a fear of dogs and chinchillas. Chinchillas are extinct, though. Thank God. <laughs> what will you have? Well, it's that time of the month, so I'll have a bleeding Jane. <laughs> Coming right uh, up. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, one, two, three, one, two, three. It's not even alcoholic. Bro, if it's that time of the month, you need some alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. All blended. There we go. Here. That time of the month. Do Lola menstruate? Yes, oil. No, silly, we don't. Oh, so you're freaking pulling my leg this whole time? Come on. There are a few maintenance things we have to do every month, but those are a different story. What time of the month is it? time when I feel like drinking a bleeding jam. Ah, oh, wonderful. <laughs> so how's business? I'd be surprised by how many people get struck by holiday depression need some Dorothy in their lives. Although it's also the, reason, the season with the most competition. You know you had a competition? Of course I do. All the humans and them. Have them get sexy Santa dresses, and that's not fair. They were sold out. I wanted one too. <clears throat> Ooh, my voice. But maybe it's better that way. How so? The other girls like to dress in skimmy clothes and show lots of skin. That scares off a lot of people. I learned that the best way to maintain regulars is to just dress normally. Really? If I dress normally, they can just pretend I'm some acquaintance. No need to hide me until we in the room. Ah. Well, some invite me to a dinner or movie before anything else. Although, I must say it's a bit hard to get the clients in the first place. They can't tell what I do at a glance. First time they see me after a call, they think I'm just making a prank or something. Huh, never saw it that way. Reminds me, do you serve only humans or do you serve level 2? Humans only, but I do have an at least 40% organic policy. <laughs> what? Persona 4 Arena Ultimax? <gasps> yes! Oh my god, finally some good news! Holy heck! Oh my god, that's so pog. Okay, okay, I'm definitely getting that. 100%. Holy heck. Oh, that's great. That's wonderful. Oh, and since I'm definitely gonna get that, we can have a big, uh, Discord party. <laughs> Playing Arena. <laughs> oh my god. Final word premiere. Zone 4 Arena. Oh yeah, that's, a, that's what Thirk said. <laughs> Human from the neck up. Six preferably organic, but I can make exceptions. We're females, I'm not so strict though. Ah. Uh, why? Do you know someone that might be interested? No, just mere curiosity. Well, your curiosity left me thirsty. Give me a blue fairy. A big one, would you? Alright. A big blue fairy. Beep, 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 beep. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, one. Optional meaning all of them. And uh, aged and mixed. There we go. Yes, yes. I'm glad I'm pleasing you. <laughs> Here you go. I wonder if anyone's been seeing fairies after a couple of the uh, have got. I wonder if anyone's seen fairies after a couple of these. I'm gonna test that by drinking as many as you could. 
thought he saw one, but he was dizzy and what he seen was this puke. <laughs> oh god. Oh. You know, earlier today there was a mega Christmas spirit around here. What about it? That I'm realizing I made a fuss about serving drinks to someone underage, but here I am. Nothing in particular, just a funny story. I have a funny story myself. It's a mega Christmas Santa prank. Oh my god. The what? <laughs> it's a prank I pull every year. First, I pick a ball, wait for a day with lots of people. Then I go to Santa's lap when he asks what I want. I sing the most innocent tone that I can muster. I want you to make me a woman. <laughs> Sometimes they try to cover it up. The little wants to be human. It's when I say no. I want you. <laughs> That's good. That's good. After that, I say, well, at least I very- I don't know what to do, though. A big pink one, or a very bumpy cucumber. Sometimes I spice it up. Instead of cucumbers, I ask for a pony and crane to lift him. Oh my god. I once thought about screaming, help, I am being molested. Dorothy. Look, I enjoy a little trolling. That's going too far. I remembered it was a prank, and I didn't want to ruin that guy's life. It's good, good. Remember, remember it's a prank. How considerate. Although I did get a client that way, he became a regular soon after! Oh! <laughs> oh! Okay. <laughs> Alright. Uh. But yeah, three years and they still don't get that it's always me. Oh yeah, how old are you? Old well, enough for anything you want. Numbers. I need numbers. Are you really asking a girl for her age that way? Okay then, tell me your age first. 27. <laughs> No fair! You didn't get fidgety or anything like that! <laughs> Are you freaking happy? The freaking uh, emotes duplicate now? Huh? So now the more you send, the more they fill the whole screen, huh? Wonderful, isn't it? <laughs> Fine, I'll tell you. My model's designed to look between t 10 to 13, but my last checkup said my mental age was 24. Jesus Christ. Ah, oh, dude, that is the most anime thing in this entire game. Models designed to look 10 to 13 and your checkup was mental age 24. Bruh. How long since you've been deployed? Like a secret I'll keep with me. Fair enough. I expected you to get all uncomfortable when talking about your age though. Why didn't you? How <laughs> dangerous everything's been lately. Every year you get- Are you guys freaking- <laughs> Are you enjoying yourselves? <laughs> Getting old isn't a curse, it's an achievement. You should make a shirt with that, because if you don't, I will. Feel free to do so. Do you want anything else? Let's see. Oh, a cobalt velvet. It's been a while since I've tried one of those. Alright. Strap of my bra is itching. Very, very itchy today. C -c -c cobalt velvet. Boop. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Cool. Oh, uh, on rocks and mixed. There we go. Cobalt velvet. Yep, this is the one. <clears throat> Do you like it? I don't dislike it. I guess I'm not mature enough for these drinks. Hey, honey, have you ever seen the Mega Santa Gang Bang? Oh no, we've made a mistake. Is this the first time we've actively gotten anyone drunk? Oh god, I don't remember this happening to any other one. I don't see the problem. <laughs> oh, look, look, look. Uh, make, huh? That make a Santa that became a regular of mine. He once invited like eight of his friends. Gang bangs are funny because with that many guys, no one knows what to do. They think about using you too, but they don't want to touch the other guys. Oh my god. <laughs> well, you should have thought about that before getting naked in front of the other guys. Hey guys, and in the end, only two got into it while the others left. Even my regular left. Oh my god. I'll regret asking this. For all the other guys. Yep, they are all Mega Santas that worked with them. Of course they were. I've been in many, but I still don't get the charm of gangbangs. Orgies I can see though. Seriously, what is freaking going on? Well, 
is all I'm remembering that got me turned on or the alcohol is kicking in. <laughs> Either way, I'm leaving. Bye, honey. Oh, that was fun. The girl's seen some shit. <laughs> now I can't see Mega Santas with the same eyes. Why didn't you tell her you missed her yesterday? Forgot about it. I didn't find any cats. Why not look again? Good idea. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, new character? Huh? Another kid? Seriously, what's wrong with all these freaking children today? Maybe the bar got popular at some middle school. That would be a hassle. Oh god, maybe Alma was right. Right about what? Well, the other day I was asking her opinion on the whole Alice Rabbit thing. Oh. Or the whole massive into transmission hack thing. At some point, she talked about hacking becoming a fad and said, Imagine if suddenly a group of tweens broke into this bar and started asking for drinks. <laughs> and today, there have been two kids already. <sighs> How would Bartender even become a fad? Maybe it's a cartoon? Kids' cartoons don't show any alcohol. True. Are you gonna speak? Um, excuse me, miss. This is no place for kids, so you should... Uh... Yeah, um... You know, she's staring, staring too much, and she's saying nothing. She's not ordering anything. She's not causing any trouble. There's nothing inappropriate here. I mean, nothing inappropriate aside from alcohol. The alcohol is pretty much everywhere anyways. So what do you suggest? Let her be? Maybe she's just curious about the bar. Saying nothing. <laughs> Maybe she's curious and shy. Also, it's rude to speak about people you have in front of you like they can't hear you. Yeah. True. Well. Oh. Still. What? How long did I startle you? What do you want? Can you help me out with a beer? Right. The lead actor of Night of Ivy Snatch name was, ah, uh, I can almost remember it. That's not the thing that you need to be remembering right now. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Oh, dude, it would be freaking hardcore mode if, like, if she got distracted and she couldn't remember how to make the drinks. That would be, that would be insane. <laughs> there we go. Here. Thanks. Lower your guard a bit, please. Oh yeah, before I forget. This disposal usually comes in on Sunday. Do you have any expired ingredients on your side? Oh, right. Yeah. There's a bottle of Carmatrin that's a month past expiration. Put it by the sink so I remember to dispose of it. Thanks. Hey, miss. Oh, you speak, huh? Oh. Y yes Are you happy? Am I happy? Well, that's a weird question. I'm not sad, I guess. I'm not jubilant, but... No, I mean, are you happy with your life? With your choices? Deep question. <laughs> I mean, I might have one or two regrets, but I guess it could be worse. Dude, I don't know if it's just me, but I get the urge to ask people this. Like, whenever I'm just walking about life, I just like, you get, you get the thing, right? Where you're like, everyone is a unique individual going about their own life, right? So whenever I like talk to strangers, I'm like, I have this, the urge to be like, are you happy? You know? Are you happy with how your life is going? Of course, I never actually ask them that, because that would be the most weird thing for a random person to ask you. <laughs> yeah, it's super, super ominous as well. But boy, would it be interesting to hear the answers, wouldn't it? Are you happy? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I mean, I might have one or two regrets, but I guess it could be worse. Regrets? Yeah, I mean, don't we all? I see. Um... <laughs> hey, Jill. Uh, again? Heard you been on edge. Maybe. What'd you want? Didn't you borrow the screwdriver the other day? I did? Why? I forgot to take the coins from the arcade in the corner last week, so I need to take them out. Oh, let's see. Here. It's not like they see much action these days anyways. Jump change is still money. Pocket change has made my ass many times. What, did you throw it in someone's face while escaping? It only happened once and the old lady started it. Right. 
Why doesn't arcades still use coins and nowadays? Or physical money when you get down to it. For the reason arcades still exist. Nostalgia. Yeah. Maybe. Hey, miss. Uh, yeah? Do you recognize me? Recognize you? I want to say I do, but... Sorry. Really? Can't remember your own sister's face? Huh? Sister, sorry, but I don't have any sis sister. Not even a sister-in-law. What? No way. Gabby? Is that really you? God, I'm so sorry. You've just grown so much since the last time I saw you. How long has it been? Three years. Right. So you know her? Yeah, she's actually my girl. My ex's sister. Oh. Okay. Um, so how have you been doing? I actually had to transfer schools and I managed to skip a grade thanks to admission test. I'll be out of middle school next year. Well, he's been a smart one, so it's no surprise. Have you thought about what you want to study in college? You always said you wanted to be a scientist. I don't know yet. I just have a couple of years to think about it. Well, don't feel pressured about that. Maybe you'll need a s sabbatical year. So, how's Lenore? Wait, who's Lenore? Her sister. She's, um, she was my girlfriend. She actually had a relationship with somebody that's not a cat? Go and be surprised. Hey, don't talk shit about my baby. <clears throat> so, how's Lenore doing? She's dead. What? Huh? Sorry, I don't think I heard right. My sister's dead, Joe. She died last Saturday. I came all the way to tell you the news. Come on, Gabby, stop fooling around. Oh, you stop fooling around. I mean, wow. Now it's not the time for this kind of jam. <laughs> the music is like not helping the. <laughs> <laughs> My sister was left to suffer her disease alone while you were on Mary here, mixing dreams, drinks and chatting. Wait, Lenore was sick? Of what? Since when? Localized nanomachine rejection. It gave her a heart attack. She started complaining about chest pains not long after you left. Was all the talk about getting your freedom worth it, Jill? Dude, you... Oh, you cannot blame a person's passing on, a, on someone uh, on a heartbreak. Oh, God. Was your right to be married worth the life of my sister? Dude. Holy heck. Why are you lashing out at me like that? Did I infect her with the disease, the disease that killed her? No, but it's too much of a coincidence that she started getting worse and worse right after you left. You got visibly sick after your last fight. It'd be no surprise if the fight played a key role in killing her. That's just speculation. You can't expect... And all that because you wanted freedom? It's not freedom, it's wanting happiness! It is, and it's like her life to live, she doesn't have to be with anyone. Oh my god. What kind of freedom is so enticing it makes you hurt a nice three-year-old relationship? If only I knew. If only I knew. Is this freedom so important that you cut all contact with us? Was this freedom so good you left everything behind? Was this freedom worth the life of my- Shut up! I didn't kill your sister for fuck's sake! It's not like I infected her with that nanomachine rejection. Hell, this is the first time I've ever heard she was sick. Do you really know what kind of fear drove me to have that argument with your sister? Do you even understand the fear of feeling your, your youth slipped away through your fingers? You think it was all that easy for me? I was scared. I'm still scared. But I needed to grab a hold of my life. But it has nothing to do with your sister. I... I loved her. You think that fight didn't hurt me too? I... Yeah, d don't. Don't hit me with that. those eyes again. Idiot. Oh, shut up. Yeah, I feel that. <laughs> I feel that. I... I... I'll make sure that girl gets to wherever she wants to go safely. We well, Chief. I know. Come on, Jill. Let's take you home.
That sucks. Home sweet home. Yeah. Hey, Jill, you wanna grab something to eat? Not really. <laughs> it's a big sad hours. I'm not hungry. Want me to come in? I'll keep you company? I'm fine, I just... I just need to be alone for a bit. Jill... You can tell me whatever you're feeling. It's okay. It's not okay. It's... it's not. Oh. Hold on, let's get the freaking sad eyes going. Oh. Come on here, Jill. Come here. It's just... I feel like a part of me is crumbling right now. My old girlfriend was sick and I didn't know anything about it. Her sister came to deliver the news and she held nothing but animosity for me. Not only that, but I lashed out at her too. History fucking repeats itself. Maybe if I hadn't cowered back then and apologized. Maybe if I wasn't such a selfish little shit. Maybe. Maybe. Oh. Oh. Thanks, boss. I really need this. You want me to stay with you for today? Thanks, but I actually need some time for myself. Some time to put my thoughts in order. Yeah, I understand. Don't do anything funny, you hear me? I will do no funny things. If any weird thoughts come to you or you feel anxious, call me. Yeah. Hey, Four. She's in your care, you hear? Meow. Remember to call me. I'll call you later to check on you nonetheless. Oh, remember I'm here for you anytime. <laughs> It hurts. It hurts. Oh, boss is queen. Literal queen. Oh my god. She was feeling down. She really liked that cutesy game poster she saw. But it won't prevent her from getting too distracted. Yeah, where's that game poster? Where's that game poster, bro? A cutesy game poster. There you go. Jill smiled, smiled a bit at the cute, cutesy poster. Oh, what's going on on the on the chan today, huh? Uh, Makise releasing EKDV 1H6 update. This is the greatest thing to ever grace the planet Earth. I literally can't stop touching myself. Jesus Christ! Such a quality, high quality release. Why is the camo blurry? I think it's just a regulation for the civilian models. Something's off. I had to be all over this normally, but I can't seem to get excited over this. Your shit chase is showing. Nah, I just think I'm just kind of descent. Des I'm kind of tired of the same thing over and over. That's what happens when you consume way too much fucking military equipment and weapons. <laughs> yeah, I think it's that. I better stop buying so many weapons already. I'll never find pleasure in them again. Any word on the camo stuff or any civilian weaponry? They said they were going to announce more stuff later on a, on a later date. I like porn, you guys. Oh god. That's awful. Invisible guns? I think they'll use that for cute they'll use it for cute patterns. That's so wild. On that very sad note, I think we're gonna leave it for today. I'll do progressively longer and longer streams as I get better and better, but for now I'm still a bit sickly, but that's all right. Thank you guys for joining me today. It's been fun. It's been an experience for sure. <laughs> it's been a very sad experience today, actually, uh, at the end. But, you know, hopefully the ending ending will be nice and wholesome and pure. Hopefully Dana and uh, Jill get together. <laughs> that's, that's what we want in life, you know? So, hope you guys have a good day. Have a good night, you know? Oh, wh wh whatever time it is for you. And, um, happy holidays. Have, have a happy December 9th. Or 10th? Where, where, depending on the day? Yeah. <laughs> okay, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.